everybody, it's Nick here with Grayscale Gorilla, and I am so excited today to show you three brand new products from Grayscale Gorilla Plus. Everything you're about to see is out today and ready for you to use in your next project. In fact, if you are a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, it is in your account right now. So let's head on in to Cinema 4D and let's get started. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D, and the first thing I wanted to show you was the brand new Plus Library. This is a new plugin from Grayscale Gorilla that is designed to help you organize and use your Plus assets, including all of our material collections, textures, and also HDRIs that are coming soon to Grayscale Gorilla Plus. This brings us to another new product from Grayscale Gorilla called the Tech Products. And it's with this new material collection that I wanted to show you how easy it is to use with the new Plus library. It is as easy as dragging and dropping into your viewport. Now, let's talk about this grill. This grill is actually a material, it's not geometry. And in fact, you could see that if we just drag another material on top of where this grill is, it will be replaced by this material. And in fact, that grill does not show through. And that's to show you that there are some really detailed textures here in this tech product. So let's go ahead and change the grill from the black grill to this kind of bright orange grill. And in fact, you can see it's a material because the other material blocks it. So we have to just come up here to the mesh cover and delete this other one we dragged in there. And now you can see the speaker behind it. Let's also talk about this knob right here. This is one of my favorite materials. It's called Stereo Knob. Just drag it on and you get this awesome rotated kind of brushed aluminum just by dragging it on. So let's move up to this other camera because I want to show you these knurled materials. These are also some of my favorite new materials that the team made and they are so easy to use. So let's try this first one here. This one's called Neural Metal One. Now, all I'm going to do is add it to this object here. We get this beautiful knobby texture. We made this really simple for you to experiment and to play and to use these things creatively and let you try out many different materials until it looks the way that you want it to. And all without having to create these materials from scratch, saving you tons of time and letting you stay in the creative mode. Now, let me kick it off to Chad Ashley. He's gonna show you a brand new Surface Imperfection pack built to add beautiful wear and tear and realism to your materials. Chad? There's absolutely no such thing as an absolute perfect surface. So that's exactly what these scratch maps do. They add that last little 10% of realism. So that's exactly why we started creating Surface Imperfections is because you need that in your toolkit. A lot of what we do as 3D artists is trying to make things real by making things look more messed up. Because in a computer, of course, everything is perfect. Everything has the most perfect surface you can imagine. So a lot of what we do is trying to spend time making that look less perfect. And that's where surface imperfections like our scratch pack here come in handy because it allows you to bring those in very easily and audition different ones and find the perfect amount of scratch on your surface so that it looks real, but it doesn't distract. And that's really, really important. One other cool thing that you can use our plus library is once you have your image all set up, you can just drag onto the image name and try out different scratches. So let's go ahead and isolate this so we can see it a little bit better. So in our case with this guy, I might want to try one that's a little bit more sparse. So let's go ahead and drag that on there. We're really stoked at this whole new library of scratches, and we are looking to add even more surface imperfections in the future. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching everybody. And if you want to get updates on all the new stuff we have planned here at Grayscale Gorilla, be sure to hit subscribe, also hit the like button. All that stuff helps ensure that you see future updates to Grayscale Gorilla products and also future updates to Grayscale Gorilla Plus. We have a lot more in store and we just wanted to thank you once again for being a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member. And with that, we hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye everybody.